streaming. Supposedly. Someone wants a butt scratch. Oh, yeah. let me chop me. You want mama. Hi, uh, you want mama this morning? And we're live with the next little connection. Good morning, friends. Oh, wait. Sorry, I don't have. There's my microphone. How's that? Is that better? Sorry about that. Um, I've had zero tea this morning. Are we talking like this now? And I'm talking like this now. And we are going to make it. Uh, Bethany Primrose, please don't fall off that treadmill while you try to type while you're on there. Thank you very much. Look at this. I have a dog literally at my feet. At my feet. Jasmine says, have a good day. Oh, thank you. Salud says, hi. Moth Captor says, ooh, with little O's. Um, Jennifer says, good morning. No Name says, hi. No Name's back. Hello, No Name. Sophia says, hi. Brandy says, good morning. Frid Matt says, hi. Hey, Nixia's here. She says, oh, sultry voices. I was going for the sultry voice this morning. Hex says, good morning. Good Bethany morning. says, zero tea. Oh, honey, start chugging. Yes, we are working on zero tea. Donna slept in this morning, 8.32. Uh, I am half asleep, wing man. I am half asleep. Thank you for noticing. Um, Peanut Girls. Hi, Scott. I am 10 years old and I love your work and you are my mentor. I love you. Oh, thank you. Peanut Girls, you're very cute. I see you. Angie says, good morning. How did y'all sleep? Uh, not bad. Not bad. Um, yeah, we, I slept. We hope you all had a good night, too. So, I, so um, I'm assuming everybody's here now? Yeah, everybody's here. Now. Okay. Well, at least 150 everybody's. All right, 150 of you. Uh, so, last Thursday, we... Not you, her. Oh, last Thursday, we got to go to... The, zoo. Uh, the Nashville Zoo again. Mm -hmm. And as you guys know, we have been going to the Nashville Zoo from time to time and getting mm -hmm. to meet different people like Andre the Tamandua and Z the Clouded Leopard. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, who else do we get to meet? Maybe. Oh, Stanley the Rhinoceros Hornbill. Maybe. And Maylee the Red Panda. And of course, Cy the Cassowary, who is... The closest we have to a dinosaur. And then um, we have one more, which was more. Felix the Sumatran Tiger. Well, in this book. Oh, yeah. And then, so, uh, we got to meet Betty White, the 24-year-old? Six. 26-year-old. 26-year-old iguana. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was super chill. Um, honey, rhinoceros iguana. Rhinoceros iguana. Mm -hmm. rhinoceros iguana mm -hmm. she was really really cute mm -hmm. and she likes to wander the um the dino trek area she does. even though she's not descended from she's dinosaurs. not related to dinosaurs which was very disappointing because she yeah. looks like a dinosaur i I, th I think iguanas are descended from dragons that's what i think so. um say good morning to santa hey santa hi how are santa you? how are you um, okay, we've missed a lot of comments because you're talking. Steph Nerd is here. Um, Ball Duck says, Hi, Scott. Love from the Philippines. McLovin oh. says, Holy moly, I can't believe you're painting dinosaurs. I never clicked so fast. <laughs> I know a lot of you have asked me to draw dinosaurs, and we got to go through the... Ooh, you guys want to see something cute? James says, What a coincidence because my online kid loves and is obsessed with dinosaurs. Thanks for this. Oh, yeah. Um... Hey, Marguerite from British Columbia is here. Hi, Marguerite. Hi, Marguerite from British Columbia. She sends all the emojis and they're super cute. There's two crying emojis in there. I hope you're okay. But the piggy emojis are adorable. <laughs> this one spits at you. It only spits water. <laughs> so they're, they're very cute. So um, this is Triceratops, my favorite. So oh, Arwen Hex says hello. Um, let's see. Can you use a weird color palette? 
Um, can one day. <laughs> Vilko says, yay, hello, yay, a travel journal. I love it, and I just drew the Jaguar. Oh, that's great. Um, I love your paintings. You inspired me to draw. I'm doing digital art as we speak. That's not Barry. Nice. Hey, Brazen Spirituality says, good morning to you both. Good morning. JX sketches. I have a question. Do you ever have something in your head that you want to draw? Yeah, all the time. I just don't draw very well from my head, so it's kind of disappointing. Like, I wish I could draw the stuff in my head. I mean, I can. I just don't like it as much as when I use photo reference. Um, Salud says, I'm 14 and I'm trying watercolor. Mm. I hope you like it. And Richard's here and says, good morning, y'all. How are you doing? Richard's been doing some abstract paintings. Oh, really? Yeah, they're very interesting. I look forward to seeing them. I can't believe you haven't. Oh, you've been busy. I've been. Um, I'm drawing Trevor Zagris right now, and I would love to see you draw him someday, too. That's Connor. I will have to Google that person. Um, good morning, good morning, good morning. Are Namaste. They an actor, a musician. Uh, what are they? Good morning from Post Falls, Idaho. That sounds like a lovely little town. Post Falls, Idaho. Was it like after fall? It or like be. mail that falls? I don't know. Um, I didn't take Scott as a dino guy, but now I do. <laughs> Hello from the UK. First live. I've been watching shorts and they've been so encouraging and helping me fall back in love with my art. That's us Oh, that's great. All right. I am going to keep trying to use these um, Utrecht. Impressions because they're very, Santa very says nice. Betty White was such a supporter of animals in her life. I'm sure she would have been thrilled with the name, even an iguana. <laughs> yeah. She was indeed, just like Doris Day, very much a huge supporter of animals and animal rights. All right, let's start off with Betty. Um, so this is Betty. Let me show Naru you. Naru says, Good morning, dinosaurs. Yay. The weird L drawing you made was amazing. Oh, the weird L. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I tried doing a quokka based on your drawing using Derwent watercolor pencils, and it is one of my favorite drawings now. That's Family oh, that's 10. that's great. Um, Hi Guys has been drawing doodles and things like that. Um, that sounds like a lot of fun. Greetings from a bike trip to Marin, Italy. Wow. Yay. I'm assuming it's motorcycle bike, right? Not like pedal bike, because that would... I don't know. They didn't say. They just said bike trip. Um, let us know. I just finished a project for my sociology class. It's for mental health awareness. That's, oh, that's great. That's fantastic. What's the tea, Donna? The tea is the Knightsbridge blend from Harrods, also known as the renamed Strong English Breakfast blend. So, uh, and I have barely had one sip this morning because um, I got up late. So let me let me fix that. Could you draw a from flamingo flock sometime? Um, yes, I'm sure I will because they are they love to walk around the zoo. And oh, I they think do. They would be fun to paint. They have a group of Chilean flamingos, and they take them on morning walks, like before it gets too busy. Yeah. You take them on morning walks around the zoo, and they're young. Um, so it's so cute. They My follow favorite, the keeper like they're yeah. the mom. My it's favorite so is their heads. Their heads are like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, as they're looking around, they're just oh. so funny. What's your favorite Star Wars movie? Andrew wants to know. Um, the original, A New Hope. You know, that's that's the one that had the most impact on me as a kid. Um, Chloe lives in far north Queensland, home of the cassowary. Oh, that's great. I heard they're very cuddly and they love, love, love humans. <gasps> Nixia got her tattoo Wednesday and she'll oh. share pictures when the second skin comes off next week. Oh, that's fantastic. Squeal. We want to see it so bad. Low dryer. David Martinez says, good morning from California. I love dinosaurs. And there's a lot of hearts there. Oh, so good I'm morning. Thinking David really likes dinosaurs. Um, I heard uh, Northern California had an earthquake. Really? 5.2, so it wasn't huge. And then an aftershock of like 5.2. Really? Yeah. Where? 
Northern Where, California. But how far north? Um, I didn't recognize the name of the, the place. So, honey, that's not saying. But much. it was felt in San challenged. Francisco. So, wow. Okay. I had a presentation yesterday about drawing. I was nervous, but it went so well, and you were in it, so that made me feel better. Oh, that's great! That's JX sketches. I'm so glad it went well. What alcohol markers do you have? Uh, I've got several now because um, people send them to me, but uh, I have Artbeak and I have um, Oh Hoo Hoo's uh, are the ones that I kept. Uh, I used to have uh, Copics, um, but I gave them away. And um, yeah, I think, you know, we had uh, Crayola. I'm trying to think of other brands. Uh, um, I like I like the art beacon the oh hoo mm -hmm. Um Gail, I also just like to say oh hoo you, you do. Um Gail says, Good morning from California. Fabulous barter on Friday. The thumbnails from last Friday. Will any of those final choices become an actual piece? I, Excellent question, Gail. Thank you, Gail. I, I've been thinking about it. You know, the, the problem with longer pieces oh. is of course you know, you spend two weeks on a piece and it's hard to do that and make content. Um, I, I'm actually getting off. Uh, we're only going to be doing a live um, for 48 more minutes. Yeah, uh, it's going to be a has shorter a day. I have an, uh, an Animal Crackers 2 meeting um, yeah. this morning. So uh, all things considered, there's a possibility that everything in our life is going to change. Um, not based on this call, but a lot of other stuff that's going on. And uh, we might, I might stop making content uh, as much and go back to making movies. So that said, Fingers I will crossed. have time, I will have time to make larger pieces because I won't be trying to make content every day. That's why I've been doing the watercolors and not the gouache is because watercolors I can I can do in 90 minutes mm -hmm. um, I can do them quickly I can create content and um, it's 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 a positive thing mm -hmm. to be able to create content and it's also really really I'm burning out mm -hmm. really fast um, it, it's it's a lot of work I wouldn't say it was fast I mean you've been doing this for three years yeah but I'm saying just lately I've been burning out you know yeah Feeling oh, Erica's it. here and says, good morning, everyone. Big hugs. Day off today. Hey, Erica. Good morning, friend. I hope you're painting or doing something fun today. Blow dryer. What do you do about a frayed brush? Throw them away. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> oh, God. I Sorry. keep frayed brushes actually for when I have to do fur, you know, fur or just, mm -hmm. you know, if I'm going to work in something like ink or something. Okay. So, hi, Elias. My favorite animal is a red panda, for those of you who don't know. And Scott? A cheetah. Um, Oxy says, good afternoon. Um, the tea of the day is the Knightsbridge blend from Harrods. Scott, however, is drinking the berries decaf. Um, he can't have caffeine anymore. So that is what he is drinking. Um, mine is a loose tea. His is a bagged tea because the decaf doesn't come, uh, loose. So I'm adding some brown. So first it was, um, Payne's Gray, which is my mm -hmm. favorite. Adding some brown, um, and the brown is giving, well, of course, there's brown in the skin, but it's giving it warmth. Okay, so, so Anji Art wants to know, why is your favorite color gray? Um, I, I love paints gray because it's just, it, it, it's such a versatile color. Like, I can use it, um, it's a bluish, it's a grayish, like, I can go really dark with it, and I can go really light with it. Um, Yellow, you can't do that with. Purple, you can't really do that with. So it's it's just got a lot of versatility to it. Let's see. My brother is going to France on a pedal bike trip, says Marguerite. Wow. Wow. I want to go to France. 
I want to go anywhere. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of sitting in my, yeah. my office. Blow dryer. You guys are sweet. Your comments are adorable. Wait a second. Is today Friday? It is Friday. Oh my gosh, I'm having a major brain fart, people. Woo! Thank goodness it is fart around Friday. Donna's having a brain fart. Um, Caitlin says, you're the art teacher everyone wishes they had. Oh, with little hearts you. and little dinosaur emojis. Nico says, your videos have really helped me so much. I want to illustrate my own comic books someday. Oh, that's great. Yay. Comic books are so fun to make. Um, Glaucus, I have a question. As a young artist, I'm struggling with how slow I draw. It bothers me how people, especially the same age as mine, make a masterpiece in under an hour. Any suggestions? Sorry if it sounds selfish. No, 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 no. It's not selfish. Um, look, I felt the same way growing up. I had friends who just could just draw these amazing things out of their head and they could do this and they could do that. And it was just disheartening. And whereas I always had to draw what I see, um, at the end of the day, they did not pursue their art. They're insurance salesmen and, and, you know, motorcycle repairmen and whatever it might be. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I got better than them by persisting because I loved what I did. So... Don't look at where everybody is now and ha focus on what makes you happy. Focus on what is going to improve your art by just drawing everything, everything you see every day. Keep doing that and you'll surpass them because not everybody's cut out to, to make art for a living. It's not an easy, uh, easy living. It is not. So, but also just don't compare yourself to other people. I know that that's... Mm -hmm hard to, to, to hear and hard to say because I do it too. I compare myself to other artists every single day. Um, but it is something that we have to keep assuring each other that it's going to be okay and that your art does matter. Blow dryer. I don't know why, but um, the colors are really, really wet today. I don't know. Maybe it's the brush. I think so. That brush looks really wet. Yeah. Um, yes, if we tried to move the webcam it would um, not work very well. Um, it's stationary and mounted what on a tripod. Asking? They want to see your desk all over your desk. Um, and it would just be really hard to move the, the camera. So um, that is why we do not do that. Um, I do not know the cost of these brushes. Uh, they came in a set and we would have to look that up separately so yeah, if blick was in the chat yeah, we could ask them we but, could uh, if blick was in the chat so somebody put a pin in that and we'll remember um family 10 if you look at the national animals um that scott did there's a playlist on the national animals um 30 days of national animals that he did um you will see how to draw a bunch of different animals and you can watch that there um First live stream ever for Jillian. Welcome, Jillian. Jillian just usually watches your videos, but has time to be here with us today. Um, I literally love that my zoo will take their goats out on walks all the time. Yeah. Isn't that great? I love that. Um, oh my gosh. That date on the picture is perfection. LOL. <laughs> that is Trish. Thank you for noticing, Trish. Low dryer. Honey, 
show the brush that you're using in the camera. It is a Utrix size 6, 228 Sable Light brush. Yeah, I don't know. Something seems a little off today. Um, the paper, um, everything seems wet. And I don't know if it's because it's a rainy day and maybe it's really humid or something. Or... Oh, it is really humid. I don't know. I've never. Sarah seen says that. cassowaries are basically velociraptors. Yeah. The alcoholic baker says, hey, Scott, I haven't drawn in a while, around a month, and trying to get back into it. What are some warm up exercises you can recommend? Um, there's a series I did, uh, there, and there should be a playlist called Draw Everything Every Day. I'd recommend following that. Um, I draw. Or we draw together household items and, and whatnot. Um, I don't even own a hairdryer, but suddenly I need one. Yeah. Does Scott like the Hobbit movies because he likes the book so much? Um, I didn't hate them, but the book was way better. So I, I never could get through the Lord of the Rings book. It was just ugh, oh. exhausting. Richard uh, says the earthquake was 150 miles north of San Francisco. Oh, it's near uh, Brendan. Yeah. I wonder if he felt it. I don't know. I hope he's okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, I, 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 uh, what was I saying? I don't even remember. The wet paint today? I don't no. know. Um, Bethany popped the link to the brush in the chat. So if um, Z animation, if you want to take a look at that and the other person who asked about um, the, um, the brushes that Scott's using right now. Hello from Canada. Hello from Connecticut. Dinosaurs are so interesting. Um, good morning from Florida. I love your art. I'm from Chico and I can confirm the earthquakes. That's Alexander. Oh, oh it was up near you, huh? Ellen is here this morning. Do a tutorial based on a cheap watercolor painting supplies like brush water, paper brush watercolor, cakes uh, and tubes, please. I have done videos with Crayola. I've done videos with, mm -hmm. um, we tried just last, just two days ago, we went live with um, Mia's $20 uh, kit. Mm -hmm. um, we've done mm -hmm. Grabby. We've done. So oh, which reminds me, by the way, on that on that note, they were mortified that the paint was crystallized in the tube. Wait, here it is. Yep, they were mortified and they apologized and they said, "Oh, we're going to send you a new one." <laughs> so uh, anyway, it was kind of it was kind of yeah. funny. Yeah. Um, oh, you guys are sweet. They remembered I had a migraine. Thank you very much for remembering. I'm doing okay. I have the lingering effects of it. It's just. Uh, deciding to uh, hang around santa says better watercolor brushes hold more water to load color so do you think maybe this might be the brush could very well be all right well then maybe we've got to dump the utrex load dryer Santa says, not everyone is cut out to eat the cookies of the world, but I have stayed laser focused on this. <laughs> <laughs> Santa, you're a pro. You yeah. are a pro. The dedication, you know. <laughs> Ryan says, every time I go to sharpen my pencil in the electric sharpener in the classroom, I have to resist the urge to yell out, pencil sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> Nixie is right. Do it. Do it. Do it. Yell it out. Oh, gosh. I am new to the streams. Why do you start with gray? Um, I don't. I don't. I always start with light colors, but um, Betty White was gray. And so I just thought I would just kind of do the gray tones and then come over with the dark purples for the shadows and then a little bit of brown to give it some warmth. Not something I normally do, but I also don't normally paint 
dinosaurs and iguanas. So um, he does not. Sometimes when I do new stuff, I try different things. Um, I try not to apply the same technique I do to like Caucasian skin to everything, like dinosaurs or people of color or whatever. So uh, you'll see me experiment a lot. Um, but yeah, we don't know how Betty White got her name, but we just know that that that's what she is. She was molting while we were there which is basically shedding the top layer of her skin and so my comment was when when i was little we used to peel my brother when he had a sunburn and and i said do you do that with betty white and they started laughing the keeper started laughing and said no we let her scratch her skin on rocks and do it like the natural way meanwhile it was the polite way of saying that's disgusting exactly and 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 don't touch her and peel off her skin because that's gross meanwhile donna's sitting back holding herself back sitting on her hands going i just want to peel your skin off that is just cool donna's always weirded me out with that she just i know don't ever be around donna i don't get sunburns but don't ever be around donna when you get a sunburn because she just likes to peel skin we used to do that. Okay, so when I was a it's kid, we used disgusting. to go on really, really long road trips, and we'd sit in the back Your seat. Your family is so white, and we though. Di- we are. We are albinos. We come from. I come from a family of albinos. Okay, so we are so white. So my brother, who is redheaded and very fair at the time, well, he's still really fair. But anyway, so um, would burn like because you know, this was the seventies. So who knew about sunscreen, right? Like nobody sunscreened anybody. This we just didn't do that. And so he would get these horrific sunburns and we would sit in the back of the car. We'd start at one shoulder and we'd peel it all the way back to you Guys, it. stop it. <laughs> Jeez. If you can see Scott's face, he's so grossed out by now. It's so funny. Um, let's see. Riv Wilson says, I've been sending my friends paintings in the mail with notes, thanking them for making the world a better place as I was inspired by your shorts. So Scott, thanks for making the oh, world a better place. Oh, that's wonderful. That is so sweet. Riv, you're awesome. That was, that's wonderful. Um, we have not tried the schminky watercolors, but Santa uses the schminky watercolors and you can watch Santa use the schminky watercolors every Tuesday. He's painting. This past Tuesday, he painted a lovely nutcracker. I think it would be fun to only have art materials with funny names like Schminky and (laughs) Ohuhus. I got to pack the Schminkies and the Ohuhus and the... (laughs) Blow dryer. (laughs) Okay. <laughs> and the ohoos. <laughs> I could just see Donna just yelling. Did you bring the schminkies? I brought the schminkies. Don't forget the schminkies. <laughs> and don't forget to pack your angry eyes. <laughs> um, They're your... right next to the ohoos. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm having a moment. Pack the schminkies and the ohoos. Oh, God. Um, did you keep your first ever sketchbook or did you draw with normal ske- notebooks back then? Um, yes, I did both. Um, I didn't get my first, like, official art sketchbook until high school, but I did draw in, like, notebooks and stuff uh, when I was younger and I kept them all. It is dumping rain out there. It, it looks like a monsoon outside the Hobbit hole. Um, Vilko says, soon I will start my own travel journal because I bought the Be Creative watercolor sketchbook. Yay. And thank you for the inspiration. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm working in right now. My that's favorite. Lovely. Um, let's see. Um, I'm a noob in watercolor. Any basic tips? That's depressed egg roll. Uh, work in from light colors to dark colors. That's the best advice I could give you. Go light to dark. All right. I think I am done with this part there. 
Uh, no, Scott does not like fancy brushes. No, I am not a fan of fancy um, brushes. Um, your mom, mom says, hey, Scott, I have a question. Will you ever stop drawing slash painting? I hope not. I, I took 10 years off um, and didn't and didn't draw yeah. traditionally. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I, I was doing a graphic novel all digitally uh, with 3D animation kind of tools. And um, I missed it. I missed it a lot. Blow dryer. Arwen is incredibly depressed because it is raining outside. And so she's looking at me like, Mom, it's so depressing. It's raining. And I'm saying, we'll go have cookies in a little bit. Cookies make it all better. Yes, they do. I love you, pumpkin. Yes, I do. Big dog. Um, is there an alternative for Windsor and Newton? Uh, oh, tons of alternatives. Um, they're schminky. Uh... <laughs> I mean, you can use, I, I, I've tried a bunch of different uh, brands. I mean, we just tried uh, a $20 brand uh, by Mia mm -hmm. on Wednesday. We've done Grabby. We've mm -hmm. done uh, uh, Utrecht. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there's tons of them. Seriously. Yep. You know, uh, there's Crayola. Yeah. You can look under, there's a playlist of products we've tested mm -hmm. and you could look and see and see if there's anything that you like. Um, make a basics playlist for beginners. Um, um, the art hacks is kind of that. Mm -hmm. Have you ever used a tracing stump? I don't know if I know what a tracing stump is. I don't know what that is either. Uh, Scott has never painted with coffee. I don't think you'd be interested because yeah. you don't, I like, don't the like the smell, the smell of, of coffee. It. Yeah. Blow dryer. Okay, I'm going to test Santa's theory and see if it's the paintbrush. Did you ever have such a big art block that you couldn't draw or paint for months on end? Um, ten years. It wasn't an art block. I just wasn't happy with my art, and so I stopped for ten years. Yeah. Um, I don't know why Betty White, um, or how she got her name. I don't know. Um, we didn't ask that. Um, caffeine just makes Scott jittery, um, and that's why he doesn't drink it. Um, how did you choose the dinosaurs? Um, they chose me. <laughs> there, I mean, you know, you're walking through this giant dino trek uh, thing. It, mm -hmm. This was uh, an experience at the Nashville Zoo. It's really yes. kind of cool. I, I would have loved this as a kid, um, where you're walking through here I'll, I'll i think i might have a video here i have a video if you don't it was the utrecht brushes ryan those were the ones he was uh... Look. Oh, there's Betty White. How cute is she? She's so cute. I can't even. Uh, oh, lots of dinosaurs. Yep. So, yeah, so that's, I mean, they chose me. Um, All right. Um, let's see if this is any blow dryer. I don't know. 
well, I don't know if it's the paintbrush. I don't know if it's the, uh, if it's just an extra wet day. I don't know. Um, no, the migraine has not relented. I'm sure my lack of sleep doesn't help either. I did not sleep great last night. I did get to sleep in, but I didn't sleep great. Um, Just me says, are you painting scientifically accurate dinosaurs or media dinosaurs? I absolutely love paleo art, but any kind of dinosaur representation is always amazing. Um, I wouldn't know the difference. Yeah. Uh, I, I was just, I'm just painting what I saw. Um, I, I'm assuming since they don't have feathers, they're probably not currently scientifically mm -hmm. accurate. I don't know. Cause aren't people assuming that they had feathers now? Um, Scott just picked the ones he thought was cute. Yeah. Blow dryer. Um, Big dog. I know it's depressing. Rain is depressing. Rain's the worst. Yeah. Um, Chase says, man, I really need to go to the zoo again. I haven't been in so long. You know what? I love the zoo. I think the zoo is wonderful. Um, and Watkins fam, yes, I have been to the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. We, I went with one of our boys to the conservation leadership conference that their youth puts on. Um, and it was amazing. The zoo was Didn't you get to pe pet phenomenal. a grizzly bear? I did. That is where I got to pet a grizzly bear. Yes. I went behind the scenes and um, I watched them do uh, grizzly bear training. Um, they did that. And I, um, I got to pet a grizzly bear. It was wonderful. Um, yeah. It was, it was really something. It was, yeah, it was, it was something. Yet I don't get to ride a tiger. There's no justice in the world. You could have gone with Brendan to go to the zoo. Mm -hmm. You could have. Um, but you didn't. That was all me. Because I'm just awesome that way. I'm just saying. I'm not saying I'm awesome, but I'm awesome. Okay, stop texting your friends and... i'm not texting i'm looking for a picture of the bear and i'll show you that in a minute um okay so um yeah he did nixie is correct uh he stole the blow, blow dryer from me what brand of blow dryer is it you guys are funny yeah it is just a generic brand of blow dryer i promise um yeah everybody's like maybe it is the humidity with the paints yeah it seems um, a little weird today Low dryer. I realize that it's day you two are going to be live. My whole mood brightens up. Thanks for oh. everything. Aw, Soap, you're so sweet. Um, yeah, our zoo, has, our zoo is Jurassic Park. You're so funny. Um, they actually fly the dinosaurs in. It's with a company. They, they rent the dinosaurs from a company, and the company comes in and sets up the whole exhibit. And it's on from, what did they say, February to uh -huh. July, I think. Or March to July. It's really cute. Yeah, it really is. And little kids love it. Like little kids absolutely love it. Um, now I have the urge to go to the zoo and take pictures to draw. You know, yes, we had, our boys are completely different. One, the one that did work at the National Zoo, he did what was the program they called Zoo Teens. And um, you have to apply and write an essay and do all these things and get recommendations from your teachers. Blow dryer. Um,
Hey, Danny's here. Hey, Danny. Um, I'm loving the rain that Arwen is hating. Yeah. yeah, she's just so depressed. It's so sad. Her face is literally on the ground, and she's just staring at me going, Mom, it's raining. I'm so depressed. Today is the worst day ever. Every day it rains is the worst day ever. Stefner says, Scott is getting a taste of what it would be like to paint in Florida or the equator. Yeah. Um, let's see. Um, I don't think we've tried the Daniel Smith watercolors. And by we, I mean you. Because I would not sound familiar. Those. Yeah. Um, yes, please do tag us in that so Scott can see um, the painting. Do you guys sell pre-dawn pictures on watercolor paper that I can... Oh, pre-drawn pictures on watercolor paper that I can paint without having to draw. Oh. We do that not. That would be great if that was something we could mm -hmm. do. I just... I don't even know how we would. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to look into that. Um, the alcoholic baker. I'm still an avid believer that Australia does not exist. Last time I went there, a huntsman spider or something sat on my suitcase, and I was afraid to ask it whether or not I could have it back. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Not gonna do that. I, I I could handle the kangaroos. I could handle a lot of things. But a spider that size that's actually gonna look at me and go, "Yo, sup." is not going to work for me. That's just not, that's not going to work for me. I could, I think I would literally have a heart attack. Yeah. Um, we did watch Jurassic Park. All of them. We haven't seen the last one. Jurassic World. I thought or, we did see that one. No. Are you sure? That's the one where they kind of brought back like everybody. We didn't see that one? No. Okay, I don't know if you're seeing yourself with this, but you are really heavy-handed with the water today. Like, their water was dripping off the brush. It's... No, oh, it's you to. I'm telling you, it's you today. You are really heavy-handed with the water today. I don't know what you're talking about. <sighs> And now you people see what I have to live with on a daily basis. <sighs> we need to get Schminky to send you a set, says Santa. <laughs> Do you let the watercolor dry on your palette before you use them? No, no. I mean, if I, it, it's, there's only the first time that you put the paint down. And then after that, it's dry and you have to reactivate it. So um, that first time, it's just, you know the first time but that you know like i like right now i'm out of green so i'll put some down and then i'll use it it's gonna be very very saturated so i have to be very very light with it hey hold on a second blick's here hey blick when and blick says when scott and donna say you trick by the way that's exactly how it's supposed to sound we know it's originally dutch but the company started in brooklyn named for the new you trick neighborhood oh, oh really because there are so many people who are like i live in you trick yeah i didn't even Oh, that's so cool. Okay, please explain to him. Like, he's having brush problems today with the Utrecht brushes. No, I don't know if it's the brushes. Because I think it's you. I, I was just saying that it the, the, the paint is not drying. It's, it's bleeding. It's just running. It's almost like the paper is wet always. And uh, it's we're having a heavy downpour. So I don't know if the, I've never seen it affect inside the hobbit hole, the paper. So I don't know if that's it, but it's just taking forever for it to dry. And Santa was the one who says it's probably the brush because. Oh, blame Santa. Yeah, totally throwing Santa under the sleigh. Um, <laughs> but Santa said that uh, nicer brushes will hold more water. And yes. So that's why I was trying. So we are now deferring the, to you, Blick. Is that correct? I think it's Scott. No, baby, we can't go outside. It's raining. I'm just about to push me to get sick there.
Sorry, so many doors around here to open and close and open and close. And... Hey, Emma's here. She says, it's Friday. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> oh, God. Um... What's your favorite dinosaur? Triceratops. No question. Um, let's see. Thank you for helping me find my art style, at least a little bit of it. I'm trying to aim for an anime-like style. That's Glow Bean. Oh, that's great. Don't forget to, to learn to draw oh. the world around you, though. Learn to draw realism before you do just anime, because I promise you, as someone who just drew comics as a kid out of my head, I didn't learn anything until I started drawing things uh, the world around me. So do the draw everything every day challenge if you can. Digger. Digger was the name of the, um, the, um... Blow dryer. Digger was the name of the grizzly bear I got to pet. I'm just throwing that out there for anybody who cares. Um, it was phenomenal. Um, let's see. Um, Danny says we have to come down there and go to Dino Land Park that we have right outside of Orlando. We went want to hit it up sometime, but just need the time. Oh, yeah, we should. Blow dryer. Yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it's the paintbrushes. I think it's the painting, or I think it's the paper. The paper feels wet. Okay, it's got to be the humidity then. You know, don't you think? Mm. It's got to be the humidity. Uh, this is a be creative sketchbook. Oh, Daniel's sketch art is feeling sick, but our lives make them feel better. Oh, sorry. That's not fun. Who's your favorite Batman? Oh, God. Um, it would either be Michael Keaton or um, Kevin Conroy. Do you ever paint wet on wet? I don't. I mean, currently I am. He it is right now. like I am, but I don't normally, no. Bethany says, I'm going to say it's the rain or slash humidity. Santa says, me under the sleigh. No one has been under the sleigh. Not even that horrible song about grandma. I don't like that song. I think that's terrible. I don't like that song. For those of you who don't know what he's talking about, he's talking about uh, grandma got run over by oh, a reindeer. Okay. You can stop now. <laughs> Scott is extra sassy on the Sparta on Friday. You are not wrong about that. He is. Hey, Scott and Donna, what should I draw on my weekend road trip? I would draw the things you see. Yeah, whatever you see that looks really cool. Yeah. Don't forget to take a picture of it in case you can't draw while you're there. Scott, what's one show you would watch again for the first time? For me, it's Suits and Game of Thrones. Rings of Power does not count. Um, okay. Um, <sighs> it would either be The West Wing or Avatar The Last Airbender. Mm. Do you like smart characters? I do. I like good writing. I like good characters. I don't like um, characters who are like Breaking Bad. I did not like any of the characters. Like I didn't like Walt. You know, he was not a like. He just kept doing everything wrong and everything wrong. You know that kind of thing. I, I just don't like that. Mm -hmm. um, the Sopranos. You know, I, 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 Tony Soprano is just a, not a good guy. And you, you want to see redemption. You want to see these people learn and get better, but they just don't. And so I don't like that. They're Honey, supposed to be dark characters. Oh, she's back. Okay. Um, 
I like to see redemption. I like to see growth. I like to see people. I don't mind if someone starts off bad and then turns it around. Yeah, learns learns to be better. But I, I keep your paper from folding up. This is really good paper. I mean, this is wet and it and it it, it, it always going to curl a little bit, but once you paint the other side, it kind of straightens out. Blow dryer. Okay. So um, for those of you who came in a little late, uh, I have a uh, movie meeting for Animal Crackers 2. Uh, and unfortunately, got scheduled for 10 o'clock, which is in eight minutes. So we're not going to be doing <clears throat> we're not going to be doing the full hour and a half. So my apologies. I just I should have. It was scheduled, you know, in Pacific time, and I just I for some reason I was thinking 10 o'clock plus two o'clock because, you know, I, I just I got it messed up. So my apologies. But um, I'll finish this up, and I'll hopefully get a video out today but yeah we um i think as this year goes on we will be doing more and more movie stuff and a little bit less and less of this so we'll see we'll see what happens what is this i was just letting everybody know that i gotta leave in seven minutes oh he does indeed um how would you describe America in three words to complete foreigners? I use the words everything big and food. Um, I don't know. I see it differently. I, four, I, I, four words? Four, three four, words. Three words? Mm -hmm. I don't know. See, I, I want to say guns, no health care. So, I mean, it's it's a weird place to live. It really is. Yeah. It's um. Yeah, it's 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 difficult right now. Um. Let's see. Bethany says third world country with a designer label. Yeah. Um, Daniel Smith, our paints are out of Seattle. Nice paints and print supply. Um, Huntsmen are totally harmless. Yes, but they're enormous. <laughs> yeah, but they're still spiders. They're enormous. Most most spiders are harmless, but they still you still don't want them crawling on you. You know. I just there's like I would turn around and I would see one. It could be fifty feet away, and I would see one, and it would be so huge. That I would probably see. I can't even talk about it. Like I did. No, mm -mm. no. What do you think I should draw on my weekend? Oh, we did the weekend road trip. Um, what's your favorite movie? The Princess Bride. Um, have you ever done hyper realistic painting? I've done realistic paintings or drawings. Uh, not not paintings. I, the thing about uh, realistic stuff is you're just copying a photograph. Mm -hmm. And and that's why I like doing the inking and the watercolors and letting stuff bleed a little bit. I, I, a I want it to feel, yeah, a lot like today. I want it to feel like art and not like a photograph. I think mm -hmm. um, we already have photos. Uh, try to do something that is a little more artistic. That's, that's, you know, what, you know, what our job is as artists is to do, you know, to create something that isn't an exact copy of the world around us. Gail sent you a nice tip. Totally unnecessary, you, Gail. Gail. And says, good luck with the Animal Crackers 2 meeting today. You've got this. Oh, thank with you. With a little fist bump. 
Thank you. Speaking of which, I should probably get off so at least I have time to get my headphones on and you know get ready to go. So mm-hmm. we will see you on Monday. Santa is sending positive wishes for the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, by the way, all the stuff I'm talking about, you know, with us has nothing to do with this meeting. This meeting's a nothing meeting. Um, there's a lot going on, and mm-hmm. uh, so you know we'll we'll announce it once we can. But for now, it's just. Uh, just a bad timing of, of meeting so apologies for that yeah but um we will see you on monday we hope you have a wonderful weekend and um i'll hopefully finish this up and i'll make the video later. yeah all right thanks everybody we're sorry have a fantastic friday and we will see you guys again on monday